Okay, we got the handsome boy here, the <clears throat> supermodel Jasper. And we got another really good looking guy over there. That's Trooper. Um, and Elisa, that's her dog. Chase is in the mix there too. Uh, so Trooper's a, a, you know, he has a history of being leash reactive. He went through the board and train program, doing so much better. Out. But I am basically just kind of showing you some things that you need to watch for with this guy. No. Like this, this over arousal and over excitement around other dogs, especially a dog over there who's not cool. This is not cool with him. Like he's doing good from a distance. Um, but if, he, if this guy were to just go run up on him because he's super excited, hey, want to play? Um, it would not end well. Um, and that's kind of the point of, um, you know, trying to teach him some better social skills um, so that when he's around other dogs, he doesn't act like this because he, he's used to, you know, carrying on with Freddy, um, his cousin, and they just, they get into these, you know, rounds of, you know, extreme excitement and arousal and that's just you need to be able to turn it on and off and he's learning to turn it off but also you need to see like what to look for and you want to be able to correct it early so that it, be, it doesn't become you know this state that you can't control him where he's so excited so let's go buddy he works at pretty low levels like he's, he's pretty sensitive to the e-collar off and so now he's just trying to jump on me Hello, whoever is there. I see somebody tuned in. Um, but see, he's just kind of like beside himself a little bit. And we're pretty far away from Trooper. Um, Chase is just kind of minding his own business. But now there's another dog in the background there barking. And so we'll see how that affects him. And also Chase. Like Chase can be very um, fearful about that dog. And um, I'm also working with him too. And I'm not going to let him retreat. So lots of stuff going on. I'm going to get a little bit closer and see how Trooper, Trooper's doing awesome. Um, but you can just see he's kind of, this guy, um, he's like, he's like ready for action. He will spring into action. Like he's so fast moving. His, his um, movements are just, he's like a spring. Come on, bud. Good. The good thing about him is he is super smart. He picks up very quickly. Um, but the bad thing is that, um, you know, he, he does, because he doesn't have the impulse control yet, he will make bad decisions. Jasper, let's go. Let's go. Just want him to, like, follow me. I'm going to bring him a little bit closer. Um, see if I can get... Um, so you can see me, and I'm going to try and um, sort of get him into a heel... Let's see how we can get him um, walking in the vicinity of Trooper without him losing his mind. Heel. I don't want him lunging at Trooper, making any bad decisions. There, he's like kind of easy. Chase is over here, stress yawning. Okay, this is a lot for. You can just see how how hard it is. He's over here bucking, and you know. Huffing and puffing and heel. Doing all that kind of stuff. That's all on him. That's not me giving him any kind of stim. So hang on one second. Let me just get let me just get the leash right here and the remote and everything else. So bear with me. Linda, if you're watching, I don't know if some of this body language looks familiar to you. Um, but you do want to manage him before he gets to that um that over excitement mode where you can't you can't get him so you're going to be correcting him early no easy easy Shush. come on let's see if i can get him back in check here it's kind of hard when you've got the remote your hands on the camera and you're trying to manage everything so this may not be the best um angle for you to see sit okay so i'm just going to have him see this kind of stuff that's, he doesn't know what to do with his, his angst and energy and arousal and wanting to get near Trooper like, and, and Chase for that matter. Like you can see how far away Chase is, but all this stuff is just, this is a byproduct of him being overstimulated by other dogs for way too long in his life and not knowing how to properly carry himself. So 
Um, super handsome boy, but we really have to work on that and that's what we're going to be doing. I can't film at all, unfortunately, um, just to show you, but you will see him um, progress through the next couple of weeks um, and you'll also learn how to get him to be able to um, turn on and turn off because that's what he'll be able to do um, once he gets through the training. So, all right, we'll leave it at that and we'll talk to you soon.